Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Rating Your Doomstack video covering Akoi's Ogre Mercenary Spam Doomstack. So this is the same army that he used in his uh, meme video, and if you haven't checked that out, you should. It's funny, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you probably have seen it. But anyway, uh, so we've got all five types of Ogre Mercenaries available here. Uh, the Mordfang Cavalry, Man Eaters with Great Weapons, Ogres with dual weapons, regular Ogres, and the Man Eaters. Now, having used these guys a little bit so far and gone up against them a bit, um, based on my experiences, I think that some of these units are better than others, obviously. I think the best ones are the Mornfang Cavalry and the Man Eaters with great weapons. These are lower entity numbers than the other monstrous infantry, but they hit really hard. Uh, the Ogres with dual weapons are also really good because of their anti-infantry. So I reckon combinations of these three here would probably make the best Doomstack. As for these two here, I just haven't really seen them, them be anything other than really just siege attackers. That's really what they're for. So I feel like these guys here will kind of let us down a little bit in the battle. Alright. So, let's see here. We're going up against Bretonia. They have essentially two full stacks. Order Resolve. This is the new Order Resolve system here. So you might uh, not recognize it, but this is what's coming July 14th. Uh, we're on the uh, beta patch here courtesy of Creative Assembly, which is why it's got the watermark in development here, so we've got to keep that in mind. So everything is subject to change. Uh, could lightning strike this, but that wouldn't be a good test. Uh, but if we auto-resolve it, it does let us know which units get wiped out, which would be everything. And this is pretty much 100% accurate. Whatever it says is going to happen, is going to happen. Let's just jump in there and uh, see how we go. Now, I was thinking a fair bit about uh, which factions or lords would be best commanding an Ogre Mercenary Army, and I was actually thinking that Archaon might actually be the best commander for an Ogre Mercenary Army, because Warriors of Chaos are able to reduce upkeep cost of all of their units regardless of their type by like 50% just from their horde building, and Archaon provides blanket bonuses to all units in his army, like 5% uh, ward save for example. Other notable examples would be Wurzag. Wurzag giving them all physical resistance, but also stripping the enemy of magic attack and giving these guys magic attack could be very useful. Alright, also putting a life wizard into the army to heal them I think would be fairly useful. Okay, we've got two options here. Um, We can attack this head-on, which is a very small force. Uh, most of their reinforcements, I guess, or maybe even all the reinforcements, are coming in from here. I think I just want to get into melee as quickly as possible. We don't have missile superiority, so just, just charge in and kill them, because we are outpowered here. It is on very hard battle difficulty. Actually, let me just just double check. Yep. Yep. I remember, I, I set it on very hard battle difficulty because Okoi usually does his tests on normal battle difficulty, which is fine. Which is fine. Alright, so... I think putting the man-eaters here could be good. Yeah, they'll be shooting at them right at the, off, at the, straight of the side of the battle. Take it all! And this guy here, we don't really want to use him too much. He was on a griffin, but I took him off because I don't want it to be about him. And these ones here. Probably best put them on this flank. This flank here is probably going to be the most heavily hit because that's where these guys are going to come in. These are the ones we're going to care about the least. And I think the cavalry is going to come here, so we need to make sure that we've got um, some man eaters with great weapons there. Alright, let's see how they go. Because what I've noticed with the ogres is they're really vulnerable to anti-large infantry and uh, missile units of any type because they don't have a ton of armor. They don't have any base physical resistance or missile resistance. So if this is giving us an indication of what's to come with Ogre Kingdoms, and this is like what a lot of their units are going to be like, I think the Ogre Kingdoms might actually struggle quite a lot. And you do really need to rely on doing shit like this essentially. Come on, get in there a bit more. Give them extra melee defense. Yeah, send the Mournfang Cavalry in. We just want to get these guys off the battlefield as quickly as possible. Just smash, smash, smash. Actually, they're doing, they're doing really well. Get some good old cinematic shots in there. But yeah, we're not without taking some damage. Alright, what's going on over here? 
How are they doing? Yeah, they're getting some kills. I think the terrain positioning for us is pretty good. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of them on this flank here. But we'll just we'll just mop them up on this flap uh, flank and then just roll up as we go. Uh, yeah, you should try to be shooting the Pegasus Knights. We got incoming over here as well. You shoot this. Shooting into the trees probably isn't good because it does block their shots. They don't have particularly high range. So I don't think these are like fantastic units. Yeah, they're very heavy over here. This flank here you can see is getting beat up quite significantly. Oh, I really want to get that artillery, but I don't think it's going to do that much damage to them. Because they've got high entity health. This is better against infantry. So, you know, they're getting a few kills in there. This is on large unit scale as well, not ultra. I'll one day convince a Koi to play on Ultra. Bounce of power's looking good. So, yeah, they're not doing great. But I did put them in the most difficult position. Just want to pin them down so the Mournfang Cavalries can just eat them up over here. I don't really want to pull my units out to cycle charge in here just yet, just because it'll free these guys up to get away. We've got them by the bull, sort of. I just want to eat them up here. Alright. If you could shoot the one, the uncle, they're, uh, actually, just get back over here a little bit. Those archers are really eating us up. How's that going? The field trebuchets have yet to do any damage to us, so that's good. Lord Fan Cavalry doing really well there. And we got to the artillery. Cool. Eat them up. So these guys here are good in melee, so I could just send them to charge in at the uh, peasant bowmen. But, yeah, you know what? Just go, go fight them in melee. All right, okay, the regular ogres are getting wrecked now. But the Mornfang cavalry is still in really good shape. And like I said, this is on very hard battle difficulty. If we put it to normal difficulty, we would have just rolled right over them. That's it, just a straight up brawl over there. Alright, that's not ideal there. These man eaters are dying super quick. Oh well, I, I can't justify sending any reinforcements over there. They took them out really quickly. But yeah, fast moving anti large units are a big problem for the uh, ogres. It, it does feel like the ogres have a lot of weaknesses. And units that have a lot of weaknesses, they're not good doom stacks. Maybe, maybe the Mornfang cavalry could be doom stackable, but I don't think these ones here can. Not the melee infantry, uh, the, uh, the monstrous infantry. But I do think that the Mornfang cavalry, you could doom stack it. Because they hit really hard. I just I can't justify sending any backup over there. We're too busy over here. Eating them up. Lewin the Uncle is going down pretty well as well. How'd he go for inflicting damage? Yeah, he did a bit. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is good in an in an all ogre army. I feel like just having one or two of these supplement your army in like a, in a standard army is okay, but like they're just they're just not really doing it for me. And I'm just not really interested in trying to protect them. I just don't value them that highly. Okay. 
Got to get rid of some of these archers. So that one got wiped out. But yeah, they've got good leadership. I mean, they do have maximum experience. I think that's important to take into consideration. And there we go, there's the army losses. Alright. Yeah, pretty victory. Well, that's better than what the order resolver said was going to happen. Uh, we certainly were able to make use of the situation not letting them get set up. It's quite possible that if we did let them get set up, they would have just pinned all of our guys down and then that just would have been the end of it. So, is this a doom stack? No. No, I, I don't think so. It's It was alright in this particular situation. But it definitely doesn't feel doom stackable. If we have a look at at the units and how they performed, the Mournfang Cavalry did the best. Then the, uh, the Man-Eaters with great weapons. These guys here did alright. They didn't do very well. And these ones here, like, they got some kills, but... The only unit that got wiped out here was, was you know, the Man-Eater Ogre Pistol, so... Um, I feel like with these guys here, they're just low range and sort of low firepower. It just sort of lets them down a little bit. They're sort of like, they're too good at everything. Sorry, sorry. More like, they're, they're so versatile that they're not specialized enough to actually be good at anything that they do. Um, where it's kind of better to have, like, one big strength and a weakness. And since these guys here just, like, are across the board okay, they're not particularly good at any of their jobs. So they're not great missile units, they're not great melee units, um, they're just average at everything. Whereas these ones here, for example, um, they're reasonably fast, like 75 speed, and they hit really hard. You just have to, um, I guess, cycle charge a lot with them, which I didn't do in this battle, uh, because we had them pinned down, I just wanted to just eat them up because we were causing fear on them. So yeah, I think if you were going to do an Ogre Doomstack and actually have it good, having an Empire General is not really ideal. Um, probably Warriors of Chaos or even Greenskins might be best. And um, I reckon Mournfang Cavalry is the way to go. These guys here are actually really good, I think. As for the other ones, I think they just get less quality as you go down this list here. Um, these these two here being the, the least good. Um, so in terms of rating this as a Doomstack, I'd probably give it like a, like a 6. Um, I don't think the Ogre Mercenaries are really designed for you to, like, supplement all of your armies with Ogres and then just roll over everything. They don't do that. They've got too many weaknesses. Uh, they're large, monstrous infantry, and they're not particularly fast. They're, they're of the speed of, like, Crypt Horrors. Now, the best monstrous sort of infantry in the game, um, need to have, like, at least sort of cavalry speed. So, this is why Minotaurs are so good, because Minotaurs can, like, charge and do a ton of damage, and then they get out of combat so they can recharge. Now, the problem with the, um, with these ones here is that once they're sent into melee, you have to commit to that fight and you can't reuse that charge bonus but you can do that with the Mournfang cavalry yeah uh, again their size does work against them so if they get pinned down and surrounded by melee infantry that could be a problem but i think if you were going to do a doom stack with them uh Mournfang cavalry is the way to go but overall i think that the uh the ogre mercenaries are going to be useful in sort of emergency situations for a lot of factions like if you desperately need to recruit a bunch of units because an enemy army is on the way having uh, a few supplemented uh, um, ogres can really turn the tide of the battle. Like they're not bad units, but they're just they're just not fantastic. And I think that's it, pretty much exactly where they should be. Um, they're just not the most impressive things ever. That's all. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Let me know what you think of ogre mercenaries in the comments below. Big thanks again to Okoy for sending this one in because I couldn't be bothered creating uh, this one myself. I'm still focusing on beastman stuff for the time being. And that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.